Just another day in the life. <laughs> we should make a count of the days that I've actually not been covered in poop, because, you know. Hey, hey, good morning, it's your girl Andrea. Um, it's Wednesday. I have one cow to breed this morning. I need to go heat check here. We are in for some very warm and humid weather. And potentially some severe weather. They don't really know what's gonna happen today, but they know it's gonna be hot and humid and it could get a little dicey. So uh, we'll see what today, what today brings. I have one to breed at like 8 a.m. somewhere in there. I'm not too worried about when I breed her to be honest. She's an older cow that last night, I'll put this clip in here. I saw her stand once and she was trying to ride some other ladies and she just went and stood by the gate by the bull and I was like, you're in heat, you want the bull. And if you remember, um, one of my other favorite cows that had a heifer calf, Oh, a little over a month and some weeks ago. Um, we did not put a seat on her, did not give her any sort of shots because she wasn't far enough postpartum to the point that she'd have high fertility. And I was like, well, if she comes in the heat naturally, maybe I'll breed her. Well, she's in standing heat too. So probably going to breed her. Um, she is a little bit closer postpartum than I had really like, I like to see, but I'm gonna try. It doesn't hurt to see if she'll pick back up um, into the normal timing of calving and uh, I love her a lot. She's a really nice cow and she's easy to catch, so we'll see what happens. But I was gonna have to deal with try to out her later, not knowing where to put her, this huge hodgepodge with like the bull going in because I didn't want her to be exposed to the bull if I'm gonna breed her. Yeah, so hopefully she just settles to this. Good morning. Yeah, we'll go see what's going on here. She was following everybody last night. I'll breed you later. <laughs> and I'm gonna breed you because I saw you stand once last night. Not fully pink, but I think I'm just gonna do it. It's really easy to tell who's in heat over there because there's a bully, Mr. Bobble, hanging out with some cows. On the wrong side, I mean, they're on the opposite side of the fence, so I can't do anything. Just not fair, is it, buddy? They're on the wrong side of the fence. Yeah. There's a pink. There's two pinks. We're gonna have some caps to do later today. Ma'am. Mm -hmm. I mean, your mom's over there. She must not be concerned. But why are you always following me? Oh, here she comes. Get out of here. Come on, kids. I just had to go drop a load of feed for dad and we are going to tub grind today too. So add that to the list of things happening. Woo wee! One of those wet bales. So uh, two loads of fats are fed. Cows are not fed yet, but they will have fresh ground hay to eat here, so they'll be happy.
I came up here to one of our not so ideal fields, I guess, that we rent. It's just a layer of rocks, so it doesn't dry out very well. It's been cold, so my uncle and cousin said it was looking really purple, so I can't be able to look at it. She's not very purple. You could tell it was. It was purple, yeah. <laughs> it's looking better, but we've had some heat. But it's been too cold, too wet. I think this hybrid pulls in the purple to protect itself with that trait. But uh, this field sucks, right? Well, sucks. It's one of those fields where if it's a wet year, you semi pretty much hate it. When it's a dry year, you absolutely love it. Yeah. Because it's got like your layer of black dirt and then it's got a bunch of rocks, right? So like yeah, just the, the water. It's the north end of the Blue Mound rock formation underneath the I'm not, there's places where there might be only three, three feet of black soil when it's rock. So it doesn't drain the best once in a while. Yeah. And she's pretty flat. Yeah. And there's wind turbines all over in this field, so, in this area. But she's looking, I was like, we're gonna have purple corn, what are we talking about? But it's, I mean, it looks really good, actually. Well, it does so. look great. Though. But <laughs> <laughs> compared to what I thought, I was like, I didn't expect. It's not gonna die tomorrow. Also. No. If we get some more heat, I think it'll come over. And Dad's just gonna run over part of it anyway now, so it's fine. A couple weeks or whatever, it'd be a whole different story. Yeah, not bad. I was waiting to film in case it was actually. <laughs> it's green. It's about to be on a, not to even to play home about, I'll say that. No, but we've also had excessive like feet of rain, so. They made it sound way worse than it is though, so that's good. This is a 97 day variety up here too, so we'll talk more about all of that and once this rain and stuff comes through, we'll... I mean, it's really short for where it should be because this was planted uh, yeah. last week in April. Yeah, <laughs> but that, we haven't had heat. Like but it then just... you get down there where in the other field where it rains a little bit better and that's probably... Go to the other end of the field? Full knee high to 18 inches. So. Yeah, because where I was at it was like six inches but this corn over here it's not ours that's really short too yeah. but depending when it was planted but the corn at my house went from below my knee to like almost on its way to my hips in the last See, three no days so it's definitely better on this side is this side usually better anyway the cold weather the wet ground it just wasn't getting a good root system wasn't getting the nutrients specifically phosphorus and then some hybrids have traits that kind of bring in more purple and i'm wondering if that's one of them yeah it was just getting too much water and not enough uh, supper. Yeah. No nutrients. Drinking and not eating, essentially. Yeah, essentially uh, doing a water diet. Yep, drowning out a little bit. But it should, as long as the rain kind of just eases up a little bit and we get more of like timely rains and not like seven inches in a week all the time and some heat. Which is I don't want it to be hot and the fat cattle and like all of that don't want it to be hot. The corn needs it, so. Today when be, this... It's gonna be hot and miserable next week, so... Yeah, that's what I saw. Good thing I have a pool. But anyways, now you know. We went checking, and now I'm gonna... What time is it? Go home, heat check cows. What are you gonna do today? I don't know why I didn't sleep so good last night. Oh, he broke a... <laughs> I saw you did to the... No, I started thinking about this cord last night, so it was just enough to keep you awake. And uh, he broke his... That orange self-feeder we're gonna use for creek feed. Nice and work. I guess I gotta fix that now too. <laughs> I wasn't here. So. It rot. It was rotted out. It just and then it just went. So. I've had that thing for. We used to beat Holsteins out of that. Yeah, it's, it's paid for itself many, many times over. So. so maybe we'll do that. We took the boards off the creek pen, so, so the creek pen. We, we, we did feed cattle a backwards way, shoving corn to them. Yeah. Before. It made a lot of money when you're at three dollar corn. Yeah. Before TMR. Yeah. That was before the mixer and feeding TMR the way we do now. We used to like use the grinder and we get a protein pellet and, and corn, right? Corn. Whole corn and a protein pellet. Now that's how we fed our Holsteins and hay, right? Yep. yep. Corn stocks. And corn stocks. It was a good time. Back in the day. Before. It's not, it's not uh, efficient, but it, it worked. Oh, that was before the 2015 crash. If you know, you know. If we could have 200 of these ladies, we'd be very happy. This is my 418, that one that I was really excited about the other day that had a heifer calf. That's her.
You're just so easy to do anything with. So I'm gonna try to put a little heifer baby in her with the last straw of the heifer semen that I have. So we'll see what we can do. She is a little shorter days postpartum, but I talked to our AI guy and he's like, honestly, I'd do it. He's had some success. Um, we'll see what happens. I mean, she's just a little bit early. She's not like two weeks postpartum type of thing. So fingers crossed, we'll see. look like that hold the semen so they have the code on it of who it is and then also their name just for like quick reference like eagle says eagle blackhawk says blackhawk um and then there's so many straws that can fit here and so many here they're really easy to grab when they're up top obviously this gets a little more challenging because you got to pull it up farther and you don't want to have anything above that frost line for more than seven seconds but it does work still i usually pull all these first and then start grabbing there but these sleeves are massive. I did get myself some gloves that are the right size now, so my hands aren't being extra squished trying to breathe. The more you know. Right above, right below the crimp, below the femur. Don't forget the lube. <laughs> in a little while. Hey Chubbies. How's it going? A little bit of thumping. That's the heat. Not bad though. You can hear them kind of like thump. Like it literally sounds like you're like thumping a hollow object um, when they start to get hot. But uh, not, not bad. Not bad. Everyone actually looks pretty good. I got some shade. There's a breeze today. It's just our first uh, day of approaching 90s. So, you know, black cattle, heat, etc. But they at least kind of got slowly worked up. So, and the heifers are doing fabulous. A lot of babies are handling the heat just fine, which is fantastic. If you're wondering, this is what I'm going to breed cows in because it's hot. It's actually like. Not terrible because when there's a breeze, but it's definitely humid. Like you just kind of stand there and you feel damp. But sat in my pool before this. Now we're gonna go breed in ten cows. Not terrible. So called you guys like three times just to make sure everyone was alive and well. Here you all come. Hi. Nice today. First and foremost, we gotta get our water bath. Warming back up. So, like I said before, red light will turn green. That'll hang out. I got dad's wallet. I could buy myself some stuff. <laughs> um, and we will figure out for sure our list here. I'll pull some of them, breed. And yeah, have a nice little powwow. Eight to do here right away. And then I have three that I'm gonna do a little closer to like 10 o'clock. 9.30, somewhere in that time frame, just to get them backed off a little bit because they were in hardcore heat at noon. So you try to hit around that 12 hour time frame. Well, it's 12 plus or minus two hours. If I hit them more at 10 hours, that's fine. 
I would just rather do them tonight versus butt crack of dawn in the morning. So they were coming into heat a little bit this morning. I just never saw like they were showing signs. They just were not actually standing, but they were like standing a ton and completely pink when I came and looked at them at the noon hour. So they came into heat probably at the 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. time frame or while they were eating and then just started riding. So we'll go sort and have some fun stuff. You know, it's gonna be a good time by myself in here so let this be known that it is possible to sort completely by yourself in this barn with how things are set up are you practicing i left it open so i could just use that to hook the gate because when the guy measured the chute for the gate he didn't make the gate long enough which eventually will be fine but anyways <laughs> just gotta go set this gate here can tell they've been standing by the water fountain more with it being warmer that's why it's wet and piled up there but the bed pack is phenomenal so all right i need that one that's standing there so we're gonna play this game come on tootsies i need you i need the horned cow oh she's right in front of me I don't need ya. I don't need all the calves either, but they're coming. Come on, girls. Hop. Hop. Turn. Hop. 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 I don't need the babies, but we have the babies. <laughs> Come on, babies. You can try to kick me? Awesome. All right, I got these two in the alleyway. I'm gonna go get just a couple from the next pen because they can't get out of there. I don't day in the life <laughs> we should make a count of the days that I've actually not been covered in poop because you know it's not very often <laughs> Wait, 
Yeah, mom and I are now heat checking our bread. It's my first round here, and I have two of the three for later sorted off. Oh my gosh, there's so much happening right now. <laughs> mom's back, mom's here now, so she's heat checking in two and three, and I'm watching for it here and drinking water. <laughs> I feel like at this point I should have an, like, an adult beverage for AI season or something, but <laughs> especially when it's hot. All right, it's been a while. Very humid outside. herself who is 38. Yeah, I'm guessing it's just reserved but I want to get One that goes to pen four, and then the other one goes to pen two, I think. Triple chip, yeah. And they were all, I think I got all of them. One of them laid down on me and I bred her while she was laying down. Got her, so. I bred, I don't even know, there's like 13 today total. Cause I had one this morning, a whopping one this morning. And then I did one at four o'clock and then my 11 tonight. So now I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna make some sourdough. I got, no, I'm not actually gonna make my bread. I gotta make my dough. Um, and then uh, we'll be back in the morning at seven so you'll see that in the next video so if you have any questions as always let me know um tomorrow's gonna be a busy day of breeding so next video once again breeding and probably getting some calves outside potentially it's supposed to be a little bit nicer tomorrow so thanks for hanging with me make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time